Hello and welcome to Web Learning with Knowledge in Shared. In this video I'll show you how I configure the Raspberry Pi with the OpenVPN and also DuckDNS in order for you to connect remotely to the Raspberry Pi you can put device anywhere and not just in your local office. This video continues from where I left off in my previous uh, video where I showed how to do OpenVPN and use the Raspberry Pi as an SWD debugger. First thing that we need to do is we need to go into duckdns.org we need to sign up either with github or google or any other account and then we need to give a name to our duckdns configuration after you do that you click on install and you click on pi and here you can find and how to install it to the pi so first of all we need to do the ssh into the pi make dear how to fetch the duckdns so let me show you how it's done so I'm back to the main directory. Let's copy this, paste. This is VI, it's just like nano. Now, before you copy this string, it's really important that you log in and you set and you set your DuckDNS name. This string will change depending on the name in, that you have and the token. So it's really important that first of all, you log in you set your name and then you you copy this I will copy this just for the example but it will not work because I'm not logged in to my account control X Y and enter now we need to run this command but with sudo this command will give the duck.sh the rights to run cron tab Cron tab is a program that runs in the background and it will always run and you can do different things to update automatically. Uh, it's asking me for the first time which editor I want to use. So I want to use the nano, so number one, enter. There are different ways how to configure uh, if you want to do something automatically. I will leave a link below to a site that I'm using that explains how to use cron tab. We copy this line. And this one, what it means that it's going to run every five minutes. And then it's going to run this file. And there is go not going to be any log file. Control X, Y, and enter. Now to test the file to see if everything is working fine. I will run the file now. So permission denied. Let's do plus X. So sudo chmod plus X. And then we'll run the file again. Okay, so again, sudo. Okay, as you can see, it failed because I'm not logged in. If uh, it worked or not, you would see a duck log. The duck log will either show you okay or coo. If it's okay, then you'll see okay. If it's not okay, then you'll see coo. The log file that I spoke about is only for the cron tab so the cron tab every time it's doing something it will leave a log file the duck sh when you run it it will leave the duck.log if it worked or if it didn't work now after you've done all this you just click a sudo service cron dot, uh, start and the service of the cron tab will start and you don't need to do that anymore now we need to install openvpn to run the openvpn you write curl minus a capital L install pyvpn.io bash that will do everything for you okay the installation finished click OK OK now when installing this it is really important to do that in the network that you're going to place it in because your IP address is going to change depending on your DHCP server and you have to find out exactly which IP address you will get in the new site. I'm going to test it at my neighbor's place so he has the same IP addresses so 192.168.2. something and I know how to configure his router so I'm going to I'm going to use the DHCP reservation choose the local user Again, it's Pi, so that's fine. I'm going to use OpenVPN. So I chose this one. 
you just click up or down and you use the space to choose whatever you want so I click down on the arrows I click space and that's fine click OK so this is uh, installation mode I'll just keep everything as usual okay this is the default port that you want to use for OpenVPN now this could be any port because the port that we need is 3333 so I can change it to 3333 but also you can change it to whatever number because at the home router there is a table that is expecting the 3333 or any other port and then it can change it to a different port number I'll show you this at the end but I'll keep this uh, simple so I'll do 3333 click OK which DNS provider I'll go and choose Google now here is the place where you need to decide on where the traffic is coming from I'm hiding my IP address because this is my home IP address but we need a DNS entry that we did from DuckDNS so I'm choosing DNS entry and I click OK this is where I put my DuckDNS name so this could be DuckDNS so this is x66.duckdns.org and the x66 is the actual name that you gave in the duck DNS space it's asking if it's my public DNS name now it's going to generate the server key this is for unattended upgrades so that's it now we need to run the Pi VPN ad in order to add the user so I'll click OK I don't want to reboot now I'll reboot after here I'll do Pi VPN ad I need to put a client name so I can call it uh, PI SWD so certification day how many days you can put the maximum I never remember how many what is the maximum so I always do uh, 9999 and then it tells me oh there is an error so I'll go back PI 0 SWD and the maximum is 3650 enter the password for the client whatever password you want and give it another name give it the same password and that's it now really important to see that your pi 0 swd.ovpn was copied to home pi ovpns do copy this I do cd ls now we can see the file in order to retrieve it you can use total commander I'll leave a link right here so you can see how to use the total commander so here's the file now I can copy it to my directory so copy and that's it I can disconnect now all I need to do now is to open the GUI on the PC and add the VP open VPN and when I click open it should immediately connect to the Pi oh, as you can see OpenVPN is connecting directly to the Pi I'll put the password I can do save password and now it's connected okay, after it's been connected I can remotely connect to the debugger so I need to do debug configuration debugger the IP address here I'll do the xxx dot duckdns dot org this is uh, xxx is your name so let me change it click apply and debug so hold on the only thing now that we need to do is we need to start the debugger now because we have an open VPN connection directly to the Raspberry we can open the Pi connection with the IP address that we know and that's also the local IP address because we're right we're connecting directly into the Pi so let's go to the sudo open OCD now it's working thank you for watching please leave a comment if you have down below or if you have any questions don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification 
it greatly helps this channel. Thank you.